Welcome back! So remember front hall? People asking me what is front hall, I tell them what is back hall, they tell me I don't know, etc. etc. So now we all know what is back hall. Now let's talk about front hall. Basically, front hall is the same thing. Front hall is another connectivity between two points. In the mobile network, we have a base station, we have the core network, the connection between them is a back hall. And we have some new elements like a radio unit and a centralized unit and a distributed unit and the connection between the radio unit and the distributed unit is front hall. We talked about it when we talk about open networks, when we talk about disaggregation, horizontal disaggregation in the run, etc. etc. And the whole idea behind this disaggregation is having an extremely low cost radio unit. There are lots of them in the network. And in order to make the network scalable and cost efficient, vendors are making those very cheap. You want them cheap, and in order to make them cheap, you make them, well, stupid. So what happens when you try to talk to someone who is not as intelligent as you? You call him, again, with the antenna gain and with the transmit power and we receive sensitivity, you are sure that he hears you. And, and you tell him a sentence like, if two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? And all he has to say is, huh? Huh, because his remote unit, his radio unit, he's dumb, he does not understand. So you go again, if two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch, and you get again. What? So, in front hall, you need to explain very slowly. In front hall, you actually need to tell him, do like this with your mouth, e, and then exhale, and then do and exhale, etc, etc. And then you have if, and then two, and then witches etc etc so you see you put in a lot of effort in order co to convey a very simple message and this is what causes front hall to be capacity extensive this is what causes front hall to be uh, to demand about six times the capacity the same amount of information would require in the back hall this is why in front hall you need either fiber or millimeter wave connectivity, 10, 20 gigabit per second, to convey all this information, even though the amount of real information is not greater, greater than you have in backhaul. So this is frontal, by the way, this is also the reason that you need shorter latency, reduced latency in frontal links, so the entire process of back and forth will move on much quicker and would not uh, exhaust you. So now we know what back hole is and what front hole is. All we have left to do is understand what mid hole, but middle is easy. You don't need a video for that. Just look at our blogs and you'll understand it right away. Thank you very much for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.